So here we are, the last dance of the season, the last dance of 2022 for Division 2. The five lights are on and they are out and we are away. It looks like Men's, as usual, has not had a very good start as that guy's absolutely flown off the line. A Scarborg and Adrian making it three wide with Men's. Adrian has to back out and nearly loses his place to the teammate in the, Ooh, his teammate in the process. Out? Yeah, there's there's yeah. Mash as well as gone. As yeah, Mash and Cl Mash and Clock have not lasted very long at all without an incident. But anyway, as for the battle for the lead, that guy's had an absolutely storming start. As Danny D must have made a mistake. He's dropped a couple of positions. Now got now fighting active JMC and fighting Kalesko. So I'm running on board with JMC. Here. He's got a beautiful view of the two ahead of him going side by side. Is he going to make it three wide? No, thinks better of it going to try and potentially get a run onto the second straight. So it's kind of pitched at the apex a little bit there. As this position changes all over the circuit, I can see. One of them potentially going to be LSW Legend on well, Moly. It's Danny and Adrian swapping positions as well. Kaleska's had a bit of a wobble and that's allowed Active JMC to go right back through on him. So Active JMC goes into P6. There's a yellow flag, that is SLR Allen. So like Alan has had a spin. So he started in a really good position. But those hard tyres, he's just not, not like them. Not one bit. Is it just me or is it showing quality showing that he's got no front wing at all? Who knows, he might not have a front wing. Yeah, he doesn't have a front he's wing. He's going to the pits. Not going to first lap then for that Ferrari. Don't know whether QWERTY maybe is someone who... Quite, he could have very easily rear-ended Mash, maybe, for example. That could, that could explain things. So I'm just going to get up the position changes to see who the main gainers are. The main gainer... Oh, is the yellow flag as Alan's gone again. The main gainer is Golden Egg Fryer. So going to be flying through this pack. Now trying to get past Drastic Blaze. Six positions gained is the driver in the Alpha Tauri Ooh, car. That's Red's round. Yep, and as one Red Bull gets overtaken from the spin, the other Red Bull makes the overtake on Jack, the eight. Jack and Charlie obviously bidding it in Q1, so a bit of work to do, but they both gained a position, so I think they'll be fairly happy with the start. And Menz has lost DRS to Scarborger, so it does look like that guy's got a bit of pace over them, because that guy's obviously on his hard. Scarborger will be quicker than Menz because he's on the mediums. But that guy's still looking pretty decent. All those made a big mistake there. That's potentially going to allow Scarborg and Jenny Benz to get back in the DRS. As the field is still relatively close here, sometimes you get a bit of a field spread, especially when there's a lot of drive, when there's not that many drivers. But because we got a full grid. We have a bit of a nice field spread here. It's not looking too far away, not not too distant at all. Let's see, only flag is set to one. It's Hannes. Yep, it is. As Qwerty also bins it in set to three as well. Not have a good day, Ferrari. Not at all. As all the two Alpines going to swap position. Adrian looks quicker than Danny. Um, potentially on the radio saying please let me through is he going to listen is Adrian going to try and make the move himself because Danny doesn't have any DRS so here we go no Adrian's happy to start behind his teammate I don't know why Adrian's not being a bit more aggressive here come on man get your elbows out get that position it's the final race of the season but Danny D goes a bit deep though, and I think Adrian, yeah, he's probably going to be a little bit frustrated now, and he's probably definitely going to want to make the move on the next lap. Unless Danny, of course, gets TRS on men's, but... Yeah, I do think Adrian, especially with his ERS as well, does have a lot more pace. There's the yellow flag again, and that is Tuman. Mm. So here we are, the position swap from the Alpines. If I say that, they've hit each other! <laughs> I, did, I thought Danny D was oh, no. potentially going to let Adrian go. <laughs> There, but Adrian made contact with him and lost four places in the meantime. 
Danny D and Adrian, uh, they, yeah, they both dropped down because of that. What, what an absolute mess between the two, between the two Alpines. That's all I have to say. It's a bit like Alpine in real life, I think. Oh, that, being honest. Morgan's, Morgan's able to get past that guy. Yes, he is. He needed that on his mediums. He really did need that. As Charlie moves up into P4 as well. Is that guy going to fight it? I don't think he is. It's another yellow flag. I think that's... Who is that? It's Adrian. Oh, there's, and there's Danny four cars here. There's, there's, there's a safety car. What? What has happened? Both Alpines are involved. The... Yeah, the Alpines hit each other again. Um, either way, there's a safety car that's been deployed. But this is very early. This is very early to go on to a set of halves at the end of the race, though. The safety yeah, car. Definitely, I don't, definitely too early for him. I don't think. I, I feel. I don't think you pit if you're Scarborger, for example, in P1. I think that. I think you drop down far too much. I understand if he does. He has a, yeah, and he does. In. He is in. Yep. But I don't Charlie, think that's the right Charlie choice, personally. Stay out. GMC. Golden Egg Fries in seventh, and he's and elected to pit. It is. Golden Egg Fries started like, l like literally last, and he's in seventh. Well, he's not in seventh oh, anymore wow. because he's obviously pitted. But so many people are pitting for half when they go to the end of the For example, oh, front, front wing change though. So I guess that's catalyst for that. But who's got a front wing change? Uh, who's got a front wing legend. change? Ah, I see. But yeah, Scarborger, it's, it's not worked out badly for him. He's rejoined seventh after all that. Um, but that might have used up his set of mediums. He might not have another set of mediums. So he's going to have to do an almighty stretch of these hard tyres to the end of the race. But yeah, very much a mix of strategies, though. We have the hard runners that have to pit again. Um, the safety cars arguably helped them if the drivers running the hards cannot make it to the end of the race. Oh. And then we got the medium runners who have pitted and the medium runners who haven't. Right, meanwhile, buddy, uh, meanwhile, Tootman's had a little excursion off that. Tootman's had, yeah, he's had a bit of an adventure. But Safety car is going to be out a while, I think. Safety car is going to be out a while. As, yeah, I mean, Hammers at the back is nearly a lap down on P1. But yeah, may be seen what the best decision is. Yeah, Personally, I'm, I'm... I think Scarborger took an awful risk because if not that many people had pitted, then he would have find, found himself way down the field. But thankfully for him, it's worked out. So I think, I think knowing how many people have pitted, I would say that is the right decision for Scarborger. I'm such a beautiful people thing. <laughs> yeah, you got to take that risk. I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I still think someone like Charlie, for example, um, is in a solid position after staying out, though. Definitely. Because Charlie and JMC there's, both there's staying out. There's always perks to staying out. I mean, there could be another safety car, for example, and mm. then suddenly... And then suddenly you're on the pack with fresher tyres. Although if there's one immediately... If there's one immediately and you're in the mediums, then you have to pit. Yeah. You have to pit if there's one immediately. And... And, well, that'll put you pretty much on the same age tyres as those who have pitted, because they've only done laps under the safety car, and you're behind them all. So... So, yeah. I wonder if Tooman's putting, never, I wonder whether Tooman's putting back on his set of hards. No, he's putting on another set of mediums. Drops himself into last. Fresh set of mediums. Lose, Nothing to lose. Probably going to do double medium, I think, to the end of the race. Which isn't a bad shout. Mediums are usually better than hards on this game. So if the others on hards ahead of him do have to pit, then he will be in a strong position. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether they will be able to make the end. But there's an awful lot of them who are. But if they are making the end, then Golden Egg Fry is an effective P2 here. From 19th. Or was Jack's disconnected? If you can send him an invite. I haven't had lap data on, so I haven't had that little thing that tells me how quick everyone's going. So, let's put that on. It's 
11 viewers. Not as many as we had for Dip F2 last night, but obviously F2 was a pretty good championship battle. As a safety car still hasn't come in. <laughs> uh, Tooman at the back of the field. He's having to abide by Delta, I think. So now doesn't have that Delta anymore. Although maybe doing, or maybe maybe playing a couple of tricks to make sure that the safety car stays out, so he can <laughs> yeah. join back up with fresh tyres and his tyres as, as as warm as possible as well. So yeah, it does look quite satisfying, I have to say, seeing a full grid of drivers. It does look very satisfying. It is good to see. Great. Does show that and does wow. show that um, when combining divisions together in some way, we are able to get full grid still, even with how abysmal the game is. So, good signs for next season, I think. And I would say a lot of these drivers of who are different who are driving today aren't. They don't look out of place. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a, there's a few there's a few there's a few of them who I think have struggled a bit. For example, Tuman's made quite a few mistakes. Um, he's, he's he is someone who, if he did play the game more, would be quick enough, but he doesn't. And last year, last this year game is very one, very quick. To yeah, one. yeah. But this game is so difficult. If you haven't played it, it's so different and. Yeah, it's very, very easy to make mistakes. And very, very easy to go on the wrong way on the setup if you haven't played it either. Likewise, SLR Hammers, I think, just kind of just filling in for fun, I imagine. Um, it's not particularly looked up to face compared to his Division 3 counterparts. But I'll then say that the rest of them have looked very, very quick. Um, that guy in particular. I think, I mean, I mean, this division this season, next season, that's what this on Fridays potentially could have those who aren't quick enough for McEwen in as well. And so you could have some people like Owen and Liam, for example, who yeah. make it very, very spicy. It's, as we get underway, an active JMC is right on the back of Charlie. Is he going to send it on him? No, he isn't. He backs out of it. I fully expected a send there, if I'm being honest. Yeah. JMC usually loves a, he usually loves a send, so but we didn't get one. So better move there. It's too tight of a corner. Especially. Is he going to send one in the Verstappen dive bomb corner? Um, no, he isn't. It looked like it. it. Looked like it. As further back, I feel like we need to kind of have a look at what the drivers who have made the pit stop are doing. Adrian. Adrian's letting everyone go. Why Adrian's letting people go? Anyway, That's watching dying. Golden Egg Fry side by side with that LSW legend. Oh, it's Alan spun, and that guy's bolting. Yeah, yeah, one point already out of the RF zone. Scarborg is making an overtake. First of six he needs to make to overtake that guy side by side with legendary Danny D. Of course we saw that in the first stint Scarborg was the only driver who was able to keep pace with that guy. Or was yes. SLR Hammers has nice. spun. Yeah he spun an awful lot. It's me! That's, that's what I do when I race. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway. On board with that to GMC. Battle for P3. I don't know whether this will be a podium by the end of the race, but it is a battle for P3 now. Oh, and it's there, safe please. to say that Active GMC and Charlie have history, so I feel like this is not going to be it's not going to be a pretty battle, I don't think. As well, is another yellow quirty. flag, that is QWERTY. Yep. I think Hammers is round again as well. Might be an impending yep. an effort and no support to think. Is he just sticking in there hoping for another safety car? No, nope. nope. It is a DNF. Yeah, now suddenly, Charlie has decided that the best form of defence is attack, as he's now setting after JV Men's. As Legend and Drastic Blaze swap positions. There we are. Is Charlie using his ERS? No, he's not. 
he's got the pace to match. The free man. Yeah, I don't know whether it's just a strong track for that guy, or whether he just seriously just does have better pace than that. Um, it'd be interesting to see next season, though, that is for sure. That guy, um, when it comes to making predictions for next season, in the mid in the mid season and the grids and if the grid's kind of similar to this when that guy does get moved up then i think he's got to be a serious contender for the title i think looking at this performance yeah, look, very very, very well yeah. oh i think that's alfa romeo out it's jack yeah that's jack yeah Hammers has left the session, that's fine, because he's retired. Has Charlie's dropped back from Men's a bit. Has Alan's retired? Alan's oh, it's in the pits. pits. Is it in the pits? No, he crashed. He crash? crashed on pit entry. Oh. So there is a safety oh, no. car. Okay. Oh, now. In comes Charlie, JMC, and Dan Danny and Drastic Blades. But what does that guy what does that guy do? What do men what does men's do? Oh. This is honestly an absolute dream safety car for Scarborger. So because it keeps the field close. It keeps yes. the field close. That is the that is the key for him. And I do not think that the mediums go to the end from here. I do not think they go to the end at all. They do, but it's a stretch. So, I mean, I think if you're Charlie, then you do pit. You have to pit. Because because your mediums are coming towards the end of your life. You've kind of just got to accept that you're going to be at the back of the field. <laughs> And then try and make something of it. Same with JMC and Danny, Danny and yeah. Drastic Blaze. But then if you're on the hards, well, then you also have a difficult decision because you're also going to be at the back. So that guy, despite having all this pace, he knows he's also going to be at the back if he pits. That guy's in. And probably, probably isn't going to be able to mend his thing. Which is ties to the end. That guy's in. Kalesko's in. And I expect all of those who did pit under the safety car to stay out. Indeed, they do. So suddenly, oh, that guy, that guy has the medium. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Mm. He's the only choice of tyres that he had. But the question is, can he make it to the end of the race? And I mean, even if he Ooh. does, well, he's not really going to have the pace I when it comes he'll to he'll the end. He'll make it there, but not very fast. Yeah. And that's completely just made the field do an absolute U-turn in terms of positions. So now Scarborger has a very, very comfortable, effective P1 if he can stretch these tyres at the end of the race, which I believe he can. Um, with two safety cars on, um, with two with two safety cars and the pit stops being taken place on lap four, I think it was. It's effectively only going to make 20 racing laps yeah. out of those, and that is easily doable. That's easily doable. We know that Charlie's going to go to the end, but the issue is, is that he's hard to... He's in 14th, and we think most drivers ahead of him will be trying to go to the end of the race. So that's going to be a mighty recovery. A that guy might be able to make, make the end. He's on fresh medium, so he'll be quicker than everyone else, by quite some margin, I think. Um... But he, but he might not be able to make the end and is out of track position. And then we've got Menz, who has to make a pit stop. Same with Blaze. They both have to make pit stops. Yes. But they do have that track position. So, I don't know. I think of anyone you want... You'd, I think of anyone, the person you'd most like to be in this situation is Scarborger. Agreed. That's right. Well, as Drastic Blaze has decided to pit. I think I know why. I think that, yeah, that makes sense. He's probably trying to just see what everyone else was going to do and then decide whether he was going to make a pit stop or not. Likewise with Pred Preds and Tooman. Um, because Drastic Blade was going to drop to the back of the field anyway. I think Tooman's put on just a slightly fresher it's set of mediums. Hmm. That's not the strategy I would go with, or I would advise no, anyone Prince, would go no with. Likes it off, so. Yeah. Has to keep it going for the final race. 
Unless he just on the set of softs and just anticipating a safety car almost immediately, in which case, fair enough. Yeah. Because you're probably going to get one. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens. Men's must wish the safety car comes in now. Because you'll have to fit in, ideally, that thing. But yeah. then the, grid, the grid's going to be so... I think what Men's has to do, basically, is he has to just, he has to just hold this out until... <clears throat> no. Hold hold this out until everyone is going to be considering until everyone is going to be considering um, a pit stop onto a super fresh set of tyres near the end of the race. Yeah. And I'll extend it a couple of laps. Yeah. To probably to lap. 18, yeah, Mendes is kind of in no man's land here, really. Yeah. Um. And he's going to have a charging Scarborough behind him on the slightly fresher hard tyres, who does not have to pit again. So yeah, I think I think it's going to be advantage Scarborough here. But of course, we could see this grid order completely flip again, and who knows? There's going to be more crashes and more safety cars Ooh. probably. What's, What's happened to Clock? I know he's going very slowly. Oh, he's got the limiter. He's got a limiter. Yeah. Uh... It's because he was in too high a gear. He was in too high a gear, and he's got a pit limiter. So he's lost a massive amount of time. Lost three seconds to the ball. Yeah. I don't think he should get a penalty for that, because I know, I know, like, I saw he was in fourth gear, and that means that you have a, that you have a speed limiter. You couldn't really do anything there. Um, that's, a diff that's a tricky one now for that guy, because he's got to get through three cars ahead of him. Now Look how quickly he's doing it. Yeah. Look how quickly he's doing it, though. He's absolutely flying as that guy. Seriously strong pace. And I mean, yeah, it's, it's like he's in a different postcode to these guys ahead of him with these yeah. fresh mediums versus their older hards. Absolutely well, flying close, through. Close up on, um, on Gordon Egg Fryer, especially with the three second gap now caused by him having that limiter issue. Oh, it's here we are, Ooh. battle for the lead. Scarborger wants to make the move on Jamie Men's very early. Going side by side, on the outside. Is he going to pull this off? Is Jamie Men's going to fight him back? They have a brilliant camera shot of it. And they're still going side by side here. Ooh, Don't make contact, yes, guys. You're in such a good position. It looks like they're keeping it fair, though, but this is a very tricky corner on traction. We've seen it already. They're still holding it out, and Jamie Men's just keeps the position. This is a brilliant Good fight reason. between them, but of course it is losing them time though, and that is going to help that guy because I don't think that guy's out but on the potential for right a win yet. Of Morgan now though. Yep. Legend. Quietly found himself in a decent position, but we'll prob we'll definitely have to pit again realistically because he put on mediums already early on. Yeah. But it's going to be quicker than men's at this stage, so that'll help him out, I think. I think we're going to get round two on this lap. And this is a great scrap. Men's putting up a decent fight. And I mean, why shouldn't he? Um, he is in P1. It is the last race of the season. He wants to have some fun. Scarborg is just waiting for the second straight, I think. Trying to get a better run. And JD Men's use those fresher tyres as that guy passes clock. So now has a three second gap to try and eat, uh, eat into. But here we are, Scarborg or JD Menz side by side once again. JD Menz trying the same defensive tactics as he did last time. Oh, Ooh, and they made contact, and they've hit Legend as well. He's hit Legend as well as Scarborg. Golden Egg Fryer, I think, has managed to avoid it, as it's a VSC, I think. That's a VSC. The safety car is not being deployed. And that guy already back in the DRS of Organel. Yeah, Scarborg and JD Menz, I think. I don't think that's Menz's fault, to be honest. It looked to me like Scarborg kind of just underest kind of just underestimated how much his car would turn and makes contact with him. I hope he hasn't got damage. Though he, he is, is pitting, so I think he I think he does. But yeah. Now suddenly Golden Egg Fryer is in effective P1. But that guy behind I think he's got something to say about that. I think he's got a lot of things to say about that. On those fresh, 
those fresh tyres. If this was a full safety car, I wonder if he would have been able to stretch those mediums to the end. It's a tough ask, but... I, I, it, what, yeah, that guy? That guy. I think, he, I think he can. I think he can. Oh, Scarborger didn't get a wing change. Weird. Did he think it was a full safety car? I don't know. Mm. It's a very odd decision to pit there if he didn't have wing damage. Unless the game just hasn't changed his wing. I don't know. Anyway, we're back underway. And, and, and I mean, now, now now, suddenly the person that you don't want to be is Scarborough because he's down to 16th. Um, but yeah. Now looking, Adrian trying to make the move on clock. Round the outside, clock breaks a lot later. That's just going to allow Adrian to get such a good run on the switchback. Is he going to be able to complete this move though? Because clock will have the inside line. Clock potentially cool. could be running wide here though. This is an absolutely brilliant camera shot. I love this on the broadcast cam. As we go underneath the ho as we go over the hotel. Um, Got Mash running. Adrian in, in being back pressured well. by Mass as well. Yeah, Mash is suddenly put himself up in contention for a very good result as well. Because, of course, once JD Men's pits, that's going to become a higher position. But, yeah. Actually, you know, yeah, I think that guy is going to make the end. I'm, I'm going to say it now. I don't really wish to jinx things, but I feel like that guy's going to make the end and he's probably, going to, he's probably the favourite for this victory. Let's see his battery compared to Golden Egg Fry. Golden Egg Fry's got 100% battery, so... It's quite comfortable. I don't think he should really fight gold, uh, uh, that guy here. Um, kind of manage his own race. Focus on the gap to clock behind him. And... Who knows if he get a podium? in a good position, because he's 90% match. Charlie's in a good position. Charlie's oh, in a wow. good position now. Remember, remember where he was and where, where he had to make his pit stop? Um, yeah. On those, on those really cards. Really those hards are comfortably going to make the end. And they're going to be the best tyres out of all of the top, all of the top six by the end of the race, along with JMC, who's also making the move on Mash as well. So Mash, we said he was pressuring Adrian. He's now been overtaken twice. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now Charlie and JMC, they're the dark horses of this race as well. We had multiple different strategies going on. Men's still leading. So if there is a safety car and Men's can bolt on some new tyres, then all of a sudden Men's is in a good position. Oh, it's clock spun. Oh, no. Clock was in such a good position. But he has spun as quite he's crashed. And is this going to be a safety car? Well. It is. It is going to be a safety it car. That is. <laughs> just just as, as, as you speak to it, as you speak of it, here it comes. The third safety car of this race. And... It puts men's in a good position. Competed yeah, this puts men's back cars. in this race. This puts men's back in this race. This is what men's needed. He really should be putting on a set of medium compound tyres here now. I think it's towards the end of this race. Oh, to actually change his way. And he's got put, he's put on his old hards though. Yeah. So Ten laps on. Because obviously he would have had all softs for quality, so he's only got oh, hards and mediums left. Oh, he's yeah. Yep. And you get one of each. But yeah, so men's will definitely pit. I'm not sure what that guy will do. Could be a decent chance for Golden Egg Fryer to pit, maybe, as well. And Adrian, because... But those fresh tyres could be valuable. Although, of course, because they've gone off those... Because they've gone off those mediums, they'll be putting back on the same set of mediums. So I think you probably have to stay out anyway. Really, yeah. I think really only men's can pit here. I think. <laughs> that, that guy's guy pitting. Is... And he's got a time penalty. What's going in the pits? Golden Egg Fry's pitting. Adrian stays out. Charlie's pitting. JMC doesn't know what he's doing, but pits eventually. So many people are pitting. Well, it's like everyone pitting. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh, that guy's got a fresh set of mediums. That's why. He does have a fresh set. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think it'd be balanced tyre allocation to get that. Balance, yes. Yeah. Yes. Blaze is staying off to... If the hold. 
Oh, I'm just sick. I'm prepared. Wow. Legend's on three lap old mediums after pitting for his wing change. He's suddenly back in this he's race in eight. Right. He's not in he's not in two he's not in on two dissimilar tires to the guys around him as well. But yeah, now we have Adrian Jack and Blaze on the older tires. Men's on mediums behind. Men's versus Blaze, that's a throwback for a couple of seasons ago. Very don't know if you were in the league said. at I don't um, know if you were in the league at that time, but um What season was that? That was it was season seven. It was season seven. At the end of season seven. Ooh, was Mexico. It? Oh, I think was that actually the first season. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, well, Blaze White, Blaze, uh, Blaze absolutely murdered men's at Mexico the last time they went they went side by side with each oh, other. No. So I think I think uh, I think I think Blaze himself has had a laugh about that incident and knows yeah. that and uh, and knows that he was firmly in the wrong. So I think they are going to keep it clean. But so. It's quite funny <laughs> that they are going to have a bit of an on track battle. I'm sure men's is. A little bit afraid, <laughs> knowing, <laughs> knowing that the history that those two drivers have had and as history. But yeah, Tuman pitting, an interesting one because he's just gone on to another set of mediums which are old, so and lost a load of track position. So probably could have done with staying out. To be honest, would have been on exactly the same age tyres and been ten positions further forward. Danny is pitting, yeah, pitting again. But another thing to bear in mind here, yeah, that guy, he's got a three-second time penalty. A Scarborger pits yet again. To put back on the set of mediums that he did have on, I assume. Or a set of softs, maybe. Is it a set of softs? Soft. It is. Is it fresh? Yes. Might be fresh. It says it's fresh, but it might be a quality set. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, because it, it changes between sessions. It says that they're fresh, even though they might be quality. Anyway. Anyway, suddenly... It's looking a bit more normal in terms of loads of people are on fresh tyres. But also, we have a few people near the front who are a bit out of position on the older tyres. This is going to be a bit of carnage. Adrian's been in pretty much every single position you can be in this race, so... And now finds himself in the lead, somehow. So... I think... I think if I... I think... I think... I think Adrian's made a pretty good decision here, though. He is going to be very much slower trap, yeah, trap than the drivers. Always preferred. Yeah. I think especially if you're someone like Moly, for example, I personally would not pit. I would personally would not have pitted because if you put yourself on the same strategy as everyone else who's ahead of you, who's also pitted, and you see so many people ahead of you have pitted, then you're kind of just resigning yourself to finish stuck. behind them anyway. At least, yeah. yeah. At pace. least. Yeah. Yeah, at least if you at least if you stay out, then you have the trap position. That's the way I always look at it. Is Adrian's already bolted, I think. Yep, here he goes. And now suddenly, I'd say Men's is the favourite for the win because that guy has his time penalty. Adrian bolted and had an excellent restart. I mean, over Adrian's got some pace, so he so can he get a gap to Jack and Drastic Blaze before Men's overtakes? That's what he needs to win this race. But Menz is so much quicker than Blaze. And he's going to go side by side in the, to the hairpin already. Blaze is going ultra defensive. And I think it's kind of going to be a bit of a futile attempt. The only real point of defending is to make sure that you don't get overtaken by the other drivers too quickly. But Menz is already side by side with him. They're both rinsing their battery. And Blaze is a bit more straight line speed here. So, keeps the position. But Menz goes down the inside. Oh, do they make contact? No, they don't. Drastic Blaze manages to avoid making contact, but in avoiding making contact, he's now finding himself under pressure from Golden Egg Fryer and that guy. Golden Egg Fryer, is he going to send one down the inside? Yes, he is. Got much more grip on his tyres, and it's an easy pass from Golden Egg Fryer. 
up into P5. So still keeps close to that guy. And now Charlie perhaps thinking about making a move. No, Charlie cannot make one. As Menz is already on the back of Jack. Side by side through the penultimate corner. Look at the lead Adrian's got. Two seconds. Two yeah. seconds. Jack is parking the bus. Adrian most definitely is going to buy Jack a Christmas card after this one if he wins this race. That is for sure. Uh, as Ooh. the gap now goes up even further. Oh, he just taps the back of the blaze. He's going to be near turn one. Well, thank you, uh, there's no issues. As Charlie's going round the outside of Blaze. I think Alesco's looking in there as well. Charlie's getting the switch back, I think. As now, even more crucially, Menz has got the position on Jack, but then Jack's rinsing his battery. And Menz doesn't have great straight line speed here. Is that guy going to use this as an opportunity? Oh, no, he's not, but he hits the back of Jack. He hits the back of Jack. Well, that is important. Has he sustained damage? That guy. It's a costly mistake. Nothing visible. I think sure. both of them are going to be up hot, hot under the collar as well. That guy's going to be a bit careful. But look, he's got a bit of understeer, I think. I think he might have some damage, you know. It's not visible, but it he can get damaged. But, there's some, but then he makes contact with Jack again. Ooh. And Jack spun. Jack has spun. So that guy and Jack and make contact as well. again. GMC as well is round. Oh, did he make contact with Jack after he spun? That's yeah. real. That'd be really unlucky if he has. I think he was going to avoid avoid a tilt when he's just put too much power on, I think. Or maybe, I'm not sure. Not sure, but anyway. Unfortunate. Yeah. Men's now chasing after Adrian, and we have a fight to the flag here. We have Adrian and everyone else behind him who are on the old, the newer tyres. So can they. Can they make up the position? Yeah, that is in the pits. A Scar Borger on his fresh softs is already up into P10. <laughs> Making moves. The Charlie on Golden Egg Fryer. Pretty clean, I think, Charlie. Yeah, he's got a bit more pace than Jeff usually, so. Nice move. Oh, his mash has been tapped by Moly. I think. It was either Moly or Preds, as there's all kinds of carnage. <laughs> yep, all kinds of carnage there. But yeah, Mash, I see, I see he's clipping that, obviously, because <laughs> he's been tagged. There's now Tooman potentially trying to make the move on Moly, is he? Tooman's on older tyres, but still in a decent position. Doesn't have a penalty either. But yeah. Oh my, oh, oh my word, just jinxed that. Great. <laughs> Tooman does have a penalty. Um... Yeah, there's now Drastic Blaze and LSW Legend are battling out as Charlie sets the fastest lap. So Charlie's the quickest driver in all of the top four here. And he's putting Golden Egg, egg Fryer along with him. So if Charlie, can at the right time. D if Charlie can keep DRS on that guy here, which I think he is going to be able to. Yeah, we have a train of four drivers trying to overtake Adrian by the end of this race. That guy does have his time penalty. But of course, Adrian has those older tyres. And easily any one of these drivers could pick up a time penalty themselves. So Adrian's, yeah, Adrian's had to use quite a bit of battery. His GMC's, GMC's gone. Off. Turn three. Hmm. Yeah, he got really unlucky, I think. Unless he, unless he just bombed on his own. But um, I think he might have got quite unlucky with the incident between Jack and Definitely. I don't remember who it was with. Um, I think it was with that guy, I think. With that between yeah, was that guy and Men's other yeah. side. Yeah, and Men's lets, lets that guy go, but he sees he's flashing. That guy has no ERS left. Does the other flag is up to it? three? That's Drastic Blaze. Oh, uh, yeah. Shame, sad way for his race to end um, in terms of a decent really well. points challenge. Uh, but yeah. It now just leaves. Adrian, the sole fighter on the old hard compound tyres in P1. And he has a bit of a gap buffer between him and Menz of that guy who does have a time penalty.
as that guy, yeah, you can once again see his ERS light flashing. So here we are. All the grip of the tyres trump over the ERS that he has. That is the question. Adrian's still got a pretty tidy amount. Scarborga makes another overtake. Getting solid points at the moment. No softs. So here we are. Is Adrian going to fight this? He should be using his battery here. But he's not. He's not using his battery. He's not fighting this. Why do you think of time penalty? No, I don't know. Yeah, but the time penalty is on such fresher tyres that you just think, surely I've rinsed my battery here, try and keep ahead of him as long as possible. Because you know that he's going to be so much quicker than you. Yeah, there's... Yeah. I hate to be overly critical, but there's been a few times this race where I've been slightly confused at uh, um, certain decisions people have been having with racing. Like, that, I, I feel like... I feel like it's the battle for the lead with five laps to go. You have to be giving absolutely everything to keep it, surely. Right. And that's just going to allow Menz and Charlie to catch up to him more quickly as well. It's going to give them more opportunities. Unless Adrian reckons that he can use the battery to stay in the DRS of that guy. That's a big ask and that's a big risk. He has managed it this this lap, but with those 20 lap old tyres. 20 20 percent lower higher battery. Then that guy, so yeah. It might also help um that guy get outside of the the time hole of the range be behind him possibly. That's what he's Yeah, but you see that he's still in the he's still determines yeah, on whether Adrian keeps up with him. Yeah. Adrian needs to be using all of his battery now, I think. To try and sweep in that DRS. Oh, it's Charlie. I was going to say Charlie had a bit of a run on Menz, because Menz is running higher wings as he usually does. But Charlie also doesn't have any battery left, so... So, yeah. As now, just at the end of this lap, four laps to go, it is still, as it stands, Adrian winning this race. As that guy is a massive moment. Ooh. He, got out he loses of so much zone. time. For... Split second there, and could that cost? Could that cost him the victory? So it's just keeping Adrian within it. And that is what. That is what that guy needs to. Needs to make sure that doesn't happen. It's the absolute last thing he needs. Because if you have a look at the gap to leader, his active JMC has gone off. And clock's crashed. Is that going to be a safety car? Is it going to be a late, late, late safety car? Another one? Yes, it... I think there's a maximum of... I think there's a maximum of four total kinds of safety car. So three safety cars in a VSC. I, th I think it's either four or... S I don't know. I think that, I think we can. Oh, is Adrian a men's? Wow. Battling it out. And Charlie. Is, he, is Charlie going to pass them both here? They do all have DRS, but Menz, of course, has no, the much slower straight line them. speed. And can Charlie hold it around the outside here? He's trying to on Adrian, and he's done it. Oh, has Adrian's made contact, though? Adrian's made contact with him, and Charlie's and out. He's, he's out. Oh. Charlie's totally out of the race. That is... An, and it is a safety car, so that's your answer. Yes, there can be safety cars. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's entirely Adrian, and I mean, yeah, that's... It's penalty coming his way. There's no, there's no two ways about it. Um, that's an unfortunate one for Charlie. I've, I've been in the position before with that corner. It's so scary going around the outside. You're totally reliant on the car on the inside to not also drift up to your part yeah. of the track. He'd had the move done, though. I think it's just, it's just a complete misjudgment from Adria. And it just wiped Charlie out when he was on for a podium. And yeah, that's... Adrian, absolutely, that's not on purpose. He did not mean oh, absolutely that. No. But, but it's just, it's, it's just, it's such a careless error. And now suddenly, that guy, he's got his, he's got his gap that he'd begun to work for, completely eroded by the safety car. Oh, I didn't think I was actually GMT disconnected. Oh, um, my bad. Um, anyway, he's rejoined anyway. Okay. And his AI is pitting him. But the safety car is going to be in at the end of this lap anyway, because it has to have the two no, clear laps, doesn't it? 
So really, the only people that are going to potentially catch up are Scarborg and Legend. Realistically. As Legend's got a 20 second penalty for speeding under the safety car. Um, so that's Legend out of this race. There's now only really Scarborg who's in this race on the first softs. And suddenly, and Modi's in this race as well. Yeah, there we are. Safety car in this lap. wonder if Scarborg will be having a pace to carve his way through the pack. I don't know. It is. It, it does take a while when you're doing a proper, a proper restart. Oh, oh, I thought you meant having pace to actually catch up, because that's oh, another question. <laughs> he still hasn't caught up yet. He needs to catch up. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think he'll get past Moly. I think I think he could be on for a podium because he has to have because he has to pass two drivers to get a podium, unless that guy absolutely bolts. Yeah. Which he could do, but. As that guy, he's still backing it up. I'd go, I'll try and go as soon as possible if I was him. Oh, I think he is trying, but he's still got the he's still got the limiter. As he now goes. Legends. Oh, it's Moly. Moly's had a little bit of a wobble, I think. Oh no no no, because Le Legend went in oh, because Legend went into the pit lane. That's why. I see. It's got Nick Ryan Kalesko battling it out. This is for the final step of the podium. Oh, what would be P2? after that guy's penalty, but of course we don't know whether he's going to gap. Let's see, here comes Scarborger down the inside of SLR Very Moly. Very wide from that guy. Very wide. Very, very wide. No DRS though. He's, made, that mistake. That he's made those kind of mistakes a few times before. And yeah, there is going to be no DRS, but we know that Menz is very slow on a straight line. So can Golden Egg Fry use that to his advantage? He would have seen that Menz is slow on the straight. There's only two laps left, mate. I'd absolutely rinse my battery here. You've got to go for it. You have to go for it. And Menz recognises that. These two were teammates a couple of seasons ago. Are they going to duel for potentially the final victory of the season? Menz has had quite a few this season. Golden Egg Fryer has not really had the rub of the green. But he could end this in the sweetest way possible. That guy, of course, he wants it himself as well. But he's used a lot more ERS than the two behind him. So... So can he get that three seconds? Or is it going to be one of Men's or Golden Egg Fryer? There's just one lap to go here to round off the Division 2 season. It's been hectic. It's been crazy. There's been safety cars. There's been carnage. There's been incidents. I'm sure that a lot of the drivers will not be happy. But we are certainly happy with the show that it has put on. Who is going to win this race though? And who's going to round off the season? Would it be Jamie Men's rounding off his Division 2 season? championship with a victory will it be golden egg fryer who has who will a victory would be the absolute sweetest thing to round off what has been a horrendous season for him will it be that guy who's won division three gone into division two golden egg fryer absolutely rinsing his battery to try and get close to men's so here it is the final overtaking zone this is where any positions between those two are going to be decided but golden egg fryer goes deep and is this going to put him under pressure from Scarborga here? Could he potentially find, find himself losing this other position? He's going to be rinsing his battery. scarborga has got almost nothing left. But he does have that tyre advantage. Golden Egg Fryer, though, has the straight line speed advantage. Uses that battery and keeps ahead of him. But can both of them find themselves potentially beaten by that guy? It looks like that guy pushing as hard as he can in the final sector. Could be enough. The gap yeah. is going up to Scarborger. It is going up. Could he do enough? What is it going to be? Is it going to be men's gold and egg for Scarborger on the podium? Or is that guy going to nick it in the last couple of corners? This is the other flag in sector three. We don't care about that. That guy, the division three champion, crosses the line in P1. But it is going to be Jamie, oh. men's gold and egg for and Scarborger who get on the podium ahead of him. Absolutely take nothing away from that guy, but you have to stay on the track, you have to keep it out of penalties because these kind of things can happen. And what a race from Jamie Menz, what a race from Golden Egg Fry, what a race from Scarborger. I feel like it's got to be Golden Egg Fry driver of the day, surely. He's gained 17 positions. Yeah, totally agree. But, but Jamie Menz wins the race, and that seals. I think that seals the Joint Constructors Championship and the, the Constructors' Championship for Ferrari. So Menz has got what he wanted, but what a result for Scarborger and Golden Egg Fryer as well. Wow, that was... That was mad.
Not six cars. <laughs> Certainly shuffling the pack again and again and again, but finally good to see Golden Egg Fry finally getting a good result. Bro, it's actually hilarious. Scarborg has made five pit stops and was last by a minute with about 10 laps to go and he's finished third. How? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. That's what, that's what 4 oh, is, yeah. Oh, this division, this division is... This division is funny. This division's funny. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If anything sums up Division 2 this season, it's that race, I think, to be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, we said there'd be safety cars and there were. How's men's managed a one stop in all of that as well? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you want to interview men's as. He is your Ferrari teammate, and I'll interview Golden yeah, Egg Ferrari and Scott Borger. Yeah. Okay, first of all. So yeah, yeah, we'll start. We'll, I'll start off with third, second, then first, as we as we always do. Um, yeah. So Scar Borger, uh, well, the most up and down race in history, um, with uh, leading at the start, then dropping down after pitting under the safety car, being in a really really good position, and then. Once again, finding yourself backwards um, and having to pit, dropping down to last, then then being forced to go on softs. But then suddenly, that late safety car, you came alive and after your five pit stops, you've somehow finished third. Uh, Division two, that is absolute finest, but how do you feel with, with, with that result? Can I just confirm? I don't know if you were tracking throughout the race. Do you know what the gap was between me and Charlie for second? Well, that's a good question, actually. That's, I that's don't think it was like I, 16 beforehand. I want to say it's 17. Well, no, 18. But I could be very, very wrong. But, um... No, it's just an unfortunate bit of contact amends. It was one of those F1 game spins. And... In a way, it kind of helped me in the end. I knew, actually, if I could maybe hang up the safety car a bit longer I could maybe get onto the soft city and properly didn't matter anyway because of the second safety car I could pit for softs but ah oh, if I'd have dived Geff at the end that would have been heroic but it's yeah. what it is 17, 17 points was the gap yeah so you've missed out by two okay. unfortunately I mean I've dropped those throughout the season so I can't complain really too much but would have been still quite third nice, in the championship but... though it is still third in the championship though I think because I don't yeah, think no, Clock had a we... 14, I think I was behind, or 13. Mm. Well, no, so, yeah. uh, I mean, I've, I've dropped those throughout the season. Only got myself to blame for half of the, the spins and that. Sometimes it's just unfortunate. But I mean, those last few laps were bloody good fun, I tell you. Just yeah. Going through everyone. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Um, it is always good when you're on those fresh sauce at the end of the race, uh, making those moves. Um, but yeah, solid, um, solid result. And yeah, it's solid season from yourself. Although, as you said, obviously, points points drop potentially. Um, how, how are you looking forward to to, ne to next season? Cutting out those mistakes? Because clearly, clearly, to some degree, the pace is there. Obviously, you've had a couple of wins this season. But, um, but yeah, kind of results being a bit all over the place, I'd say. A few podiums, but lots of races like this. And some of them end well and some of them don't. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Happy or not? Um, I mean, a lot of, a lot of the mistakes were on me it's you know like the odd dnf for example in hungary you know it's just a bit of desync i just i haven't had the greatest of luck but at the same time a lot of mistakes have been on myself so as long as i can cut them out i know what i can do especially when i get like a relatively clean race you know no massive mess ups my end and uh, it's just gonna have to be carrying on what i've learned this game and maybe pushing myself even more because i know i can do it i've got the people around me to help me it's just utilising that properly and putting that into good use. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, well done on ending the season on a podium, and especially after five pit stops. Um, Moment of genius. Moment of genius. Always, that's, always, that's, always, yeah, that's always fun. Um, R.I.P. Aston Martin budget with the front wings as well. No, I was only one to yeah. because it didn't, it didn't um, fix my one. That's why I went 
back under the hard oh, as yeah. well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, true. Yeah. That's why I know pace coming egg... out on the mediums. That'll sharpen. Yeah, golden egg, golden egg fryer as well. P two. We'll, we'll 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 try and wrap this up as quickly as we can. Well, you've you've well, you've gone in, not had a good setup, literally been on the back row in qualifying because you crashed, and your one and only attempt. <laughs> then find yourself on the podium now after a season of having loads of near loads of near misses when and the the occasional good result um mm. and and not and not the and not the best of luck how do you feel that well your best result of the season has come in a race where well, well you started last yeah <laughs> i mean I, I obviously have to start there a bit more often um but yeah i, I mean just kind of giving everyone a taste of it i can do it when i want to um, but uh, no, I mean, yeah, I, I thought I put the wrong setup on. I, I, I obviously didn't. So I, I don't know what happened there. I was in the right rush with the little and trying to get down, and so I was rushing for quality, and yeah, obviously lost it at turn two. And then, it, honestly, coming through through from like nineteenth, twentieth, it was like the Red Sea. Everyone was going off left, right, and centre at turn one, two, and three. There was a big, a big incident, I think, down at uh, the first chicane. Um, and yeah, I found myself like mid pack, and then again, like two and three people were going off and spinning, and yeah, it um, it just opened up nicely for me. I thought I'd take the opportunity with the uh, with the hards, knowing that majority would have to pit again, knowing that I shouldn't kind of be in the position I was. Um, so I wasn't really thinking I'd lose much, and then yeah, obviously the safety car come out with I think about ten or twelve laps to go, and then. Obviously, stuck the mediums on, same as uh, most people on the hards, I think it was. And uh, yeah, I was a bit, I was, that last safety car kind of screwed me a little bit because I'd saved up about 50, 55% ERS. Um, and I saw men's, uh, Charlie and Adrian all swabbling, all their ERS lights were going off like mad. And uh, yeah, just obviously allowed them to everyone to, uh, to recharge. And yeah, I was just obviously just, this, this race just really, really lucky took me chances and kept it clean and and yeah uh yeah very a uh, very nice way to end the season though um oh, and certainly uh yeah and with with potentially like um a new look division next season um f first of all um you're going to be returning um in the new year um yeah carry on racing yeah yeah, yeah why not uh, yeah. make up the numbers eh? someone's got to yeah and <laughs> yeah and what you're looking for what are you looking forward to um to doing with a bit of a clean slate um as well um, I mean, I'll be honest um, with you. I mean, obviously, we've got the off tower chat, and you know, I, I said at the start of the season, I was kind of where I finished in Division Three last year. I was, if I could pick up any kind of points this season, um, I'd be more than kind of happy. And then, obviously, the pace was there at the start of the year, kind of dropped off as everyone else picked up, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think if I can just, just, I just need to get that consistency, I think, which is something that we'll see. People like Men's, Charlie, um, Scar, you know, the guys at the top, they, they've kind of, they're showing race in, race out, they have the odd one uh, off, off race, don't they? But uh, yeah, I think it's just, it's just more mind, I think, consistency and, um, and yeah, I think it's more mistakes that I'm making rather than kind of being at the wrong place at the wrong time this season. So yeah, you know, just got to kind of sort that out. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, uh, well, yeah, well, yeah, well done on ending the season with P2 and Excuse driver me. of the day, considering you gained 17 positions. Um, oh, well, pretty so give it to anyone else, so as well. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll just don't <laughs> pick somebody else. I don't care. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, Jaden, um, on, on yeah. to on to you. So, your winner. Of Final race for Division 2 in Season 9, Billy Men's. I'm sure you're buzzing with that one, with all your wins you've had this season. And to finally clinch the, the Ferrari Constructors, both Division and um, combined. Uh, how do you feel, mate, with that one? Um, yeah, it was a, a weird race again. Um, I just knew there was always going to be a late safety car, so I was just not going to pit until I knew mediums could safely go to the end. Because I knew always that even if everyone pits for hards under that first safety car, which they did, 
if there's another safety car later on, everyone's going to pit for mediums again if they can go to the end, yeah. which is exactly what happened. Um, uh, credit for that guy, though. He, had, he was rapid today. If it wasn't for that pen, then uh, he would have easily won it. But um, it's kind of revenge for what happened two seasons ago when I was in the exact same position as that guy, when I won the race but had a penalty. So, in Abu Dhabi. So, it's a nice way to cap off the season as well. I think two wins in the last four races to end the season again, which I hadn't done since the first three races. Um, but, yeah. Never going to have another season as good as this one. So, just got to kind of take what it, I've got at the moment and try and remember it. Absolutely, I agree. Um, but I'll ask the same question as what you said at what, um, some asked for Nick Fryer. How do you, obviously with you going up next season because of being the champion, how would you feel when you move up to Division 1? Well, how would you feel? obviously the there's going to be a lot of changes with the divisions, like the number and quality of each division. Um, but if it was like hypothetically that the divisions are staying the same as they are, then just really looking at consistent top tens and can't do any worse than what happened last time I was in Division 1 when I came last in the championship and finished about two races. So, yeah, if I can get consistent points, showed it in Brazil that I could get points in Division 1. Um, so, yeah, just building on it. I've got the consistency now that I've never had before. So, I've just got to keep pushing it for pace-wise now. Yeah, totally. I wouldn't, I wouldn't knock yourself down, mate. I, I'm sure you'll do very well in Division 1. And again, well done today. You'll win. I'm sure it didn't Thanks. look as comfortable as it did. But, yeah, well done again. And I think after we've had a bit of a donut session and men's taking out everyone on the grid, um, it is time to say goodbye to SLR Division 2 for this season. And, yeah, um, it's, a, it's a division I've commentated on the most because it's been very, very exciting, some of the races I've seen, obviously, watching some with Simba. And then Jaden, of course, today. It's been good. I think it's been pretty decent. Um, and, yeah. Men's very much a deserving champion. And... Hope everyone enjoyed who was still watching. And good night. Streaming.